This is a show all about bees. Yes. And I understand you're the president. I am. I'm the president of the, the Pinner and Rice the Beekeepers Association. This is so the annual exhibition that they have here at the Cow Bar in, um, in Ricelip and they do a marvellous job showing people uh, what beekeeping can be all about so it's, um, it's a really good day. And um, have you still got your beehives? In I do. Of you? I, I have uh, ten. I think I've got ten hives. I'm never entirely sure how many I've got but I've got ten. One, a couple in my garden and a rest are on a farm. Uh, over towards um, uh, around Beaconsfield, and uh, I haven't had much honey off them, but they do very well on their own, and I just leave them to their own devices, and, uh, and they are quite happy, which is nice. I heard that wasps are not really good for bees. Wasp, wasps are the mortal enemy of the bee, and uh, if they get them together, they will fight to death. And in um, August, when there's not much. Um, forage around, the wasps will start looking for honey in the, um, in the beehives and the bees have to defend themselves, so it gets quite dramatic. I know this year I seem to have had a plague of wasps and very few bees. No, there are plenty of bees around, um, but the wasps you always notice because they're more of a pain. And bees, especially bumble, I love to stroke them and they seem to like it. Really? Oh, I wouldn't necessarily encourage stroking bubble bees because no. I think they, they might... Um, they do have a sting, but I guess if you, uh, you must have very tame bees, some bees. <laughs> yes, I, I, I've made a pot for them with a hole in it. Ah, okay. So that's where they go, right. it seems. So. Anyway, thank you very much. No, Bill. you're most welcome, Donald. Right. Thank you.